my dog wants in, hang on. And then as soon as I try to let him in, he's uninterested. I have the door shut because I got home from my trip last night and there were a bunch of packages waiting in here for me and I wanted to open them up and I know a couple of them are my husband's Christmas presents. So the trip was really fun. I'm still a little snoozy today, but <laughs> I slept until like 8.30. So a couple of the things are just for me. <laughs> um, I have been looking for a perfume that I like and want to keep buying, like kind of a signature scent perfume, and I have not had much luck. Um, I tried a couple of the, like, you take a quiz and then it sends you a bunch of little samples, and they all smell fine, but like I didn't love anything. Um, I've gotten a couple different samples in my FabFitFun box that my mom got me a subscription to for Christmas like two years ago, uh, or last year, last year. Um, and those have all been so sweet. Like, don't get me wrong. If you like vanilla, if you like those scents, there's, that's awesome. I do not particularly like super sweet scents, especially vanilla. Um, so I've struggled a little bit in finding scents. This one I'm liking. Uh, it's Glossier or Glossier U. I still don't know if it's like my favorite thing I've ever smelled. Not that that's what your signature scent has to be. But I do, it's peppery. It has like a spice to it. We'll see if Steve likes it. That'll be the, the kicker. He had, oh, what is the cologne that he wears? I love the cologne that he wears. Oh, it's so good. And that's why I'm like, why I smell that and I think of my husband. My mom had a signature scent for most of my life. It was Samsara. And anytime I smelled that, I just, you know, that's my mom. So I'd like one of those. Like I walk into the room and people are like, that's Chelsea. Anyways, looking for it, maybe, we'll see. Um, the other things that came for just me, I have these in my Amazon shop and um, they were two things that I really wanted to try that I saw had really good reviews. This is the Kitsch Hair and Scalp Oil with Rosemary and Biotin. And I've been reading a lot about rosemary and scalp health. I have a lot of scalp issues. My hair is super, super thick and it's super long and I have a lot of hair. Um, so I think I have some form of like dermatitis on my scalp. I get really flaky scalp, like insane. Sorry if this is TMI, but I think normalizing that conversation, like I try not to be embarrassed or ashamed of it. Like I know I'm clean, <laughs> but it's just like huge chunks of skin that come off my scalp. And sometimes it can get really rashy and like bloody and bleh. And then other times it's just like these huge flakes just like peel off my scalp. So it can feel embarrassing, like especially since I like to wear my hair down and long whenever like I'll look in the mirror and I'll see a big chunk of, you know, dandruff or scalp that's sitting there. So I've been looking at different ways. The shampoo that I currently use does help a lot. Um, but I've been reading a lot about rosemary and how it helps like with hair growth. Not that I need more hair, but I would like my hair to be longer. So, um, hair growth. And then it's also supposed to be really good for scalp issues like dry scalp. So we're going to try this out. The rosemary and biotin. Ooh, cheers. And then the other thing that came for me, also in my Amazon shop that I wanted to try, um, I, well, not wanted to try. I've had one of these candles before. It's the sandalwood rose. See, now this is sweet, but it's like a floral with a spicy. And I love that. I also really like the scent that I make with my sea witch soak. Um, and I've made it with like the essential oil rollers to put on. And I really like that scent. It's just I don't know, I need to maybe do more research into studying. It doesn't stay on your skin very long. Like as the sea witch soak, it's great. And I feel like your hand makes will hold the smell for a while. But um, yeah, whenever it's put, you have to put a carrier oil with it. And then whenever I put it like on my wrist and behind my ears, it doesn't last very long. And I'd like something that's a little longer lasting. So anyways, those were my goodies. Now let's get into Steve's Christmas presents. <clears throat> okay, so if you guys remember, I got him the <laughs> mom and Judy, if you're watching, Judy is my mother-in-law, 
Sorry. <laughs> when this candle is lit, give me that look. I think it's highly entertaining. So um, I'm putting together a little like cutesy date night gift basket. So we've got that. Um, I'm gonna be putting together this whole, like if you're looking for links to things in my Amazon storefront soon. So there's that. Then totally was targeted by Instagram for these ads, but the dizzy date game, my husband and I do date nights every Tuesday night and we're always looking for fun things to do. Like sometimes we go out, if we wanna save money, we stay in, but we try to like do things. Um, so this is the drinking game for couples. And it says, um, how you play is to take turns drawing a card from the deck with your partner. If you pull a drink if card, it applies to both of you. All other cards apply only to the player that draws the card. So the three that they have, like, on the back of the box, drink if your partner has a nickname for you, remove an item of clothing, or drink twice. And it says, socks don't count. <laughs> and then another one, drink if you made the first move. So it looks, looks really cute. And how many cards do you get? A hundred cards. So I feel like that's fun. You don't use all of them, you know, for a date night, but... I got this one and then as the add-on, I got the extra spicy pack. <laughs> so this one has an additional 50 cards to spice up your night. And I think we should look at at least one or two of them. So we'll just look at one, but this one's cute. Using your fingers, find a way to give your partner goosebumps. If you fail, <laughs> drink. <laughs> I think this will be fun. I think it'll be fun. So that's one of the things that I got also. And then, <laughs> I don't know if you saw my eye roll. <laughs> and my husband is a researcher. I'm sure he now knows what he got as one of his gifts. But they put the packaging is so it's like the adventure challenge ready for an adventure <laughs> it's got my name on it he's probably like google so he might know what he's getting now but this looked really cool um and the adventure challenge doesn't it i got the in bed version but they also have like a family version that's just like challenges for you and your family to do like cool outings and stuff that i think is really cool um like to give you ideas so that you're not board you know spice things up that might have been the wrong term to use when you're talking about your face. make things more interesting have fun but yeah for the um the bed one spice things up all right so let's see <laughs> this is not a normal sex book <laughs> i love it okay it has like an important please read we'll get to all of that but okay so here's what happens this is all of these black, you scratch them off to get the challenge. And okay, so challenge number one, it has minimal money spent. It only has the $1 sign, which there's probably a key. Oh, approximate cost, zero to $25. This will take time limit, is that time? Oh, best time to do the adventure. This says any time. And then time, approximate duration. This says 15 minutes. So you're going to get a code word and a safe word. And then you can peel and place a photo here. So you can take like a little Instagram photo and put it in that like you completed the challenge. Same thing here. This one looks like it's going to be more expensive. It has $3 signs. So that's going to be somewhere in the price range of $50 plus. Um, best time to do it is nighttime and approximate duration is two hours. This one also has some more. There's going to be a meal involved. It's indoors. At your home and you'll need supplies. So, pretty cool. Let's see some of the other ones. Sexploration. The Humper Games. 
This is really cute. On location. You're so delicious. This is really cool. Oh, I'm excited. So, uh, oh, for his eyes only. So, yeah, I think it's just fun. And you get a ton of different adventures to do. And, yeah, and you get to keep, like, a little, a little memory book of it. So, I think that's pretty cute. I still have, I think, two more things coming for him to put in the basket. But I really hope he's going to like it. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the mail. Y'all, I have a computer. Like a real computer. This is the, the video that I took to practice editing, but the video that you're now watching very well might be edited. I hope I don't have like a caption that says, no, it's not. <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> this might very well be edited on my new computer yeah. instead of on my phone that I have to keep deleting videos to clear storage for. I mean, you should still keep clearing your videos to... Such yeah. a sticker. Yeah. Pretty cool. Steve and I both just got more packages. I was a little worried. I wasn't sure what this was. So I told him not to look. And the jerk looked. That's okay. Because it's yarn. This is for my test for Blame the Knots. Um, her new sweater design. I'm so excited. I was looking on Joanne and a couple different sites. Um, her sweater uses Bernat Pipsqueak, which I've never felt. So let's open it and see. But um, there were only like four color choices. And I was like, man, I really wanted to do one in pink. And luckily I was with Shannon of Crafty Luna Creations. And she's like, look on Amazon because I think that I saw pink there. And she was right. Ooh, it's like it is blankety. I was going to try to use my blanket yarn, but Shannon said she had tried it and was having a really hard time matching gauge. So, um, and I didn't have enough pink to do the sweater anyways. So, this is gonna be the softest, coziest, most relaxy sweater ever. So the hubby gave me the tour on the new computer. I both really like it and I'm excited and can already feel like my frustration level just because it's something new. I hate the learning curve for new technology things. It's just, I'm like, I know how to do the other stuff. <laughs> like, ah, it's so different. Um, but I do think that I'll watch like a couple of YouTube videos, maybe on some of the different programs that I can use to edit. Um, and I do have my husband here for tech support. So that's nice. But I think I need, I need to edit day, what is, today's the 8th, so day 7 Vlogmas, and I think I'm still just going to use my phone for that one, and then, um, so I can get it up, because it's already 10 o'clock, oh, I think it's actually almost 11, um, get that one up onto YouTube, and then I think I'm going to, like, relax for a little bit, I'm going to put on some Vlogmas, I'm going to maybe... <gasps> Maybe we should do that today. I have been listening to a lot of Christmas smut, and I wanted to share with you guys some of the Christmassy smut books that I've been reading. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll give you a review of a couple of the books that I have, as well as a new one that came out on audiobook today that I am so excited about. Um, maybe some Christmas movies, but yeah, I just want to like relax and knit and finish my sweater, um, the second Av sweater shirt by the Little Wolf Knits. I'm on the ribbing of that with the extended length. I think it's going to be so good. Um, maybe work on my home sweater for a little bit and chill out. And then we'll we'll get back to techie things. And I'll also share with you guys my smart recommendations. Baby, what'd you get from Amazon? Um, shop back filters that don't actually fit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. Well, add it to the Amazon returns pile. Anyways, all right, I'm going to go do those things. Okay, y'all. Oh, I'm starting to get real snoozy. <laughs> my, my past three days are catching up to me. It is 2.30. Um, I was able to edit my day seven vlog, get that posted to YouTube, um, 
Steve and I went over some more computer things, so he helped me practice a little bit with that. Um, he's now golfing, which is fun. And I finished the ribbing on my second Av sweatshirt. It, I think it's perfect. Uh, I'm being lazy. I just don't want to put the tubing on the needles and take the needles off. Good morning. Did you wake up? <laughs> to give it a try on. So um, we'll see what happens if I just go for it and bind off without um, trying it on. But I, th I honestly think it's going to be perfect. So yeah, all I have left is the sewn bind off, which does take a bit of time. So I'm going to hold off on that until either later today or tomorrow. This test is due the 11th. So if I get it finished tomorrow, and I think I'll just, um, I might just wet block just the bottom of that, or I might even just do like a spray block on the bottom um, and let that dry. So if that's ready, then I can get pictures and do feedback on the 10th <laughs> and still be done. I mean, we are like close to the deadline, but that's okay. That's okay. So um yeah, I feel like I'm doing good with that sweater, but I might hold off. I just don't feel like doing the sewn bind off right now. Um, honestly, I really want to take a nap, <laughs> uh, but I haven't unpacked from the trip. Um, I wanted to do a workout today, maybe go for a walk. Um, I need to put labels on all of my Sea Witch soaks, and I need to figure out. I'm, I think I'm going to take a trip to like Office Depot or something. Figure out how I'm going to ship the large quantity of bottles that I have. I need to send an invoice for that. Yeah, there's some like businessy things I need to do, and all that. Like I was kind of like falling asleep while I was doing the ribbing and watching Vlogmases. So maybe I need some rest. We'll see, but. I'm going to try to get some of those things done and or take a nap. I'll let you know after. So I did not take a nap. Very proud of me. Um, did get a workout in, got a shower. My hair's still kind of wet. Um, and caught up on a lot of text messages and polos and everything else. So I didn't get a ton more done off my to-do list, but... Um, I did get to chat with some friends, which was really nice. Um, I've started unpacking, which is good, but yeah, I, Steve should be home from golfing soon. And I just thought I'd do something nice for him. So we'll see what he thinks. Afternoon. It was good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, you're excited too, huh? He liked it. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all that I did get done the ribbing. So all I have left to do is that sewn bind off. I need to do it. I could do it tomorrow morning too, but I, I feel like I should do it tonight. And then that way I can just block the very bottom of this and lay it out to dry and it'll be ready at some point tomorrow since it's just that little bit. I'll put the fan on it. No repeats of the earlier mishap. And then I can weave in the ends tomorrow and it'll be ready for photos. So, but that, I mean, the sewn bind off honestly is one of the prettiest bind offs, but it takes so fucking long. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Will I do it tonight? But I'm also going to be, um, absolutely insane and I'm not trying it on again <laughs> whatever it is it is but I did I think that extra it ended up being while I was on the train I meant to add an inch and a half I can't remember if I already told you guys this I meant to add an inch and a half and I was having such a good time watching vlogmas and knitting that I think I ended up with like two and almost a quarter inches <laughs> so that's just the universe's sign that that's what I was supposed to add to this so um, we've got the ribbing done, sewn bind off, and whatever she is, she is. But I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like it a lot. 
Okay, I also wanted to show y'all day eight of the Wildflower Yarn A Mermaid's Tail Advent. We were like at bluish green two days ago. Yesterday was like more blues than greens, but still really mermaidy. Let's see if it is. <gasps> oh my God. We've back to throwing in some pinks, which makes me so happy. This is like such a soft mermaid tail, like these beautiful pastels with the glitter. I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. I need to lay them all out and like take, I'm just afraid I'll lay them out and then Rudy will come through or something and I won't know which day was which. Also, I don't think I told you, <laughs> I'm slightly embarrassed. Um, I've posted a couple things like on Instagram and Wildflower Yarn also, I think, follows my YouTube. And she let me know that this was not meant to be opened until like the 12th of December, because it was like a lead up to Christmas. She's like, you can do whatever you want. Like, it's your yarn. I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. I'm an idiot. I thought it was like cool that you'd have days one through 12, like December 1st through December 12th. And then like you could make an advent project from the 12th to the 25th which is kind of what I thought you were supposed to do. But as soon as she said that, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> so I hope I haven't been spoiling this for anyone, but um, yeah, day eight. I'm not stopping. We're, we're keeping this going. We are on this train and we are riding it through. Are you sure that's not just your impatience and opening presents? Shut up, Steven. <laughs> you have to be nice to you, me. I gave you a present. I am nice to you. I love you. I love you too. Oh wait, baby, come back, show them your sweater. Yep. Steven is wearing the Mon, wait, tap, there we go. Steven's wearing the Montrealer. Look at him doing his model poses. Work it, baby. And what did we use? Knit, was it knit picks? Yarn. <laughs> You're such a dork. You're a dork. I think we used knit picks. Oh, I can't remember which cotton it was. Look at him rocking that hoodie. Mm -hmm. He still wants me to lengthen it a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. That's yeah. Like we thought we had it perfect, but yeah, it rides up a little high for him. And I, I definitely have the leftover yarn. Yeah. So I think we're going to add a little bit to that at some point in time. Ooh, baby, yeah. give me a Zoolander. Blue steel. <laughs> that was perfect. Thanks. Anyways, so we have pizza in the oven. Friday nights, we often do pizza. And a little bit of red wine, Christmas mugs. And I'm gonna do that sewn bind off. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to give you guys the Christmas smut book Rex, but that will be a tomorrow thing. Oh, but we're going to the, the Christmas market and then we're going to drink with my friend Lo. I should, I'm gonna message her, make sure she's still in for that. Um, might be tomorrow, might be Sunday. One of those two days. Christmas book racks are coming to you. Anyways, all right, let me get on this. Eat dinner. See you soon. Here's where it sits now. I don't need to keep tugging it. It's at a really nice point. It's still at the small of my waist. I freaking love it. I think I still wanna block just this bottom part so that the ribbing's a little bit neater. It looks a little, little wonky with the rest of it being blocked, but oh, I am so happy I did that extra work because now I can, I can move around and I don't have to tug it down. It's perfect. 
the sweatshirt is blocking. I just did a spray with a wool wash from Cozy Autumn Knits. I'll try to remember to post a little snippet of it here tomorrow. Maybe right here. <laughs> um, but it's really nice because it's in a spray bottle. You can just spritz it on and it's a no rinse formula. So I just did the bottom bit of it to kind of just give that same drape that the rest of the fabric had and kind of even out my stitches a little bit. Um, so that should be dry and ready to go by tomorrow. I do still need to weave in ends, but honestly for pictures, I might just tuck them all away. But I'm so excited to pair it. I've got some really cute cream leggings that I think will be cute with it. I think it'll be really cute with high-waisted jeans. I have a skirt that is lime green that I think might work perfectly with it. So I've got some options for styling and for photos. Um, it's about 10.30, I think. We're gonna go to bed. I did not nap today. Very proud of myself. Um, but that does mean I am pretty snoozy. So, um, my one friend actually did cancel for tomorrow. Where it's one of those things where like, I really wanted to hang out with her and it would be so fun. But I'm also really tired and a little peopled out. And we're going to a craft show in the morning. So she texted and was like, oh my God, I got called into work. And I'm like, oh no, that really sucks. And I'm like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I get to come home and snuggle in my bed. So worked out great. Um, but because of that, I do think I'll be able to do the book recommendations tomorrow. Uh, I can't wait to start the one book that um, just came out on audiobook can't remember if it was yesterday or today. Is today the 8th? Yes. Um, it came out today. So I'm going to start that um, tomorrow. And I still have some Vlogmases to catch up on. Still haven't unpacked. I need to do that too. And a couple other things. But it was a good day. It was a good day. So thanks so much for watching. Baby, say goodnight. Good night. And we'll see you tomorrow.